how my hair wound up this color. Do you, does anyone remember the red that I dyed my hair that I, did I even make videos with my hair that color? I know I did a live stream with my hair that color. And I feel like this is like that. And I did not like it. I did not like that color so much that I removed it and went back to my light color. And here we are again. It's insane. It's crazy, okay? The box that I used did not look like it was going to be this color. It's like this, look, look at this. <laughs> it's this dark red, which is not what I wanted. <sighs> it is what it is though. I'm trying to go back to a darker color because For the, for the sake of my hairs, really for the sake of my scalp, I just feel, I'm feeling like dyeing it, the light color just is not, I feel like it's just not happy up there. So, uh, I'm trying to go dark, but I definitely didn't want the red. <laughs> and I don't know, I just feel like the light hair suits me. I just like it, I like how it looks, I do, but we're going back to dark. We're gonna be mysterious, okay? Dark is mysterious. Yes, I'm gonna get into it. I just gotta get used to it, I think. I'm just so not used to it, and I love the other color. And I can't believe my hair is this dark red again. No! <laughs> That's like the last thing I would want. I swear, the box was such a different color. What the heck? Has that ever happened to you where you like put a hair box dye, do it at home, and it's like not at all what it should be? That's basically what happened. I have chips. <laughs> All is well, Fuego Chips by this wonderful brand. Do you guys remember? Maybe it was my last video that I got these. Yeah, most likely that's how it'll be posted. Um, oh my goodness. You must do yourself a favor. They're on sale right now at Sprouts. Two bags for five bucks. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Crispy, crunchy, incredible amazingness. Bold flavor. Yeah. I really dig these. Everything about them. Every single thing. The taste, the crunch, the ingredients. It's just win, win, win. Okay, so right now, we're right next to Telegraph Avenue. I don't know if you saw my video where I did my car camp right by People's Park over there. But that's over there. And then the UC Berkeley campus is over there. Y'all know I spent a ton of time in this area because I used to go to school here, so I was here every day. Um, there's a cafe that I loved studying in. It was like called Cafe Mediterranean or something it's completely different oh my goodness so before before it was pretty run down and like there'd be a lot of like interesting characters that would go in there as well as like homeless people would go in there and they had a bathroom upstairs and I think a lot of homeless people went up there to use the bathroom but it was just like, for me, it was just really chill, super chill vibe. Like, I super dug it in there. And, uh... Now, it looks super hipster. Like, completely different. 
it's just crazy and it's sad a little bit because I feel like it was such a like spot you know a local spot like something local and uh Berkeley it was very very Berkeley vibe now a lot of the places on this the street are a lot different than when I was going to school here and it all it a lot of them feel so like upscale and hipster and uh like just upscale I guess whereas you know in Berkeley it can be a lot of like artistic vibe you know more chill in a lot of places so it's definitely changing but I'm interested to just go in there and check it out and see what it's like and I haven't seen the menu but I think I'm gonna get a decaf coffee of some sort <laughs> I'm like craving the coffee flavor of coffee it sounds so good I actually never ended up getting that drink that I wanted when we were walking around Lake Merritt so <sighs> it's gonna be so good <gasps> Here, my friends, take a big old fat bite of this delicious chip. It's a little bit spicy, but not too spicy, and it's just so crispy and crunchy and spectacular. You know what, I was gonna bring this, but I actually think it's warm enough. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Alright, I think we're almost there. Or no, is that it? Oh my goodness. I thought this was it for a second and I was like, it's freaking like totally closed off. But that's the record store, so should be on the next block. literally so confused. I can't tell which building it is. Did I pass it? Did the one that opened up go out of business as well? Because what opened up in there was another coffee shop. I don't know if I'm gonna find it. I have to backtrack and go back the other way. Uh... I love that these guys are just playing chess over there. That's so cool. Okay, I found it. I had to ask. There's this weed shop, and I was like, uh, did this weed shop used to be a cafe? And they were like, no. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> and then they were like, but right next to us, this other place, this used to be a cafe like three or four years ago. So it's been a minute, and it's no longer a cafe, so we're not gonna check out the cafe, but I'll show you what it is. So it's Sizzling Lunch. Uh, this is where the cafe that I used to study in a lot is and now it is a lunch spot so completely different all right you know what maybe some other day we'll go in there and I'll get something to eat and I'll show you but for now I don't feel like getting anything to eat I really just want some coffee <laughs> and I found a spot so it's right here Ramos coffee and it looks like a study spot, so this is where people study nowadays that the other place is closed. So, let's check it out. Break. 
always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, put your hand to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? Well, I quite enjoyed that experience in there. Definitely super hipster. They had like modern, loud music blasting. It was like super clean. Uh, I mean, you saw it in there. I think that was the most hipstery, modern coffee place I've ever been to. I tend to go to like, I don't know. But I enjoyed it, it was amazing. The vibes in there were so good. And I really enjoyed my cup of coffee and the guy, Oh my God, the guy working who made my coffee and who rang me up was just the cutest thing I ever saw in my life. He was so nice and friendly and sweet and I don't know what he did. So I got a decaf Americano and he put honey in there as well as some cream and it was just, oh my God, it was spectacular. And then with the coffee, they gave me a little chocolate kiss. Now, normally, oh no, no 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 way would I have that um, but because I'm doing this you know experiment and everything I went for it and I fully enjoyed it I have not had milk chocolate in like a decade I'm saying it has been a really long time um, but I like had it melt in my mouth and then I took sips of coffee when it was in my mouth and it really was like a really enjoyable spectacular experience okay so I was actually gonna stop by this thrift store and see if I could score any five dollar scores because they have some five dollar scores there um, but my friend contacted me and was like do you have any interest in going to this event in San Francisco? And it's like a Shibaru event, which is like like a Japanese bondage, I think. Uh, so I've never gone to anything like that before in my life. Um, but he's actually working, he pours tea. So I'm gonna give him and all his stuff a ride there, basically, and go to this event. So I'm just headed home right now um to grab whatever i might need uh mainly i just want to change my top i feel like and then i'm gonna go do that i would love to get some footage but i don't know i don't know because it's like the type of thing that people don't want shared on the internet but i might be able to get some like incognito I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I'm excited because it's exciting. <laughs> I changed. I don't know how I feel about what I'm wearing, but. Hello, Ree.
I've been get tied up. up. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that to you? This crazy man. No. This is a Shibaru harness. Is that what it's called? Shibari. Shibari? Yes. Shibari harness. Rope tie. What do you need a harness for? To be suspended. Ah. <laughs> So I just dyed my hair again. What the heck is wrong with me? It's still drying. Oh my god. So you been, you've been to Iron Bowl, right? Oh yeah, we're like we're about a 15, 20 minute drive from Iron Bowl. So in in 78 I was in Iron Bowl. Oh yeah? Oh my yeah. goodness. I would think oh, Bowen yeah. said it. Look. Ooh, that looks so good. Yummy. May I, my dear? Yeah. Is this for washing? Yes. Yes. Okay, so should I move it or? No, I don't know. Just go in. I'm going to be washing these things from the garden. Things need to be washed, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I have tomatoes over here that need to be eaten, so I'm excited oh. to be using them. Nice. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know. I love tomatoes. <laughs> and then these are from our garden. We'll season the salad with lime. Amazing. Yum. I know, our garden, we're two years into this house and we're harvesting stuff and it's pretty cool. He's and in the garden like all the time. time. Every single time. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Did it, um, give you what you needed? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Root money. And then when I got to go up, I didn't want to do it, so I buried it in the jungle. But I didn't want to carry it around with me. I didn't want to have to think about that. And when I left, I went in the jungle and I, I dug it up and then I left. That's so funny. Wow. You found it? What do you mean I found what it? What if you couldn't find where you It was $5,000. That's amazing. Then I went to the, the <laughs> toy bazaar and so I did $5 from the black But that was in 78. I'm sure, like you said, everything has changed so much there. Yeah, it's still I mean, a nice place to be, though. Yeah. Despite the... Except for a few of us. That looks delicious. Wow, you are making a feast. Yeah. She's a, a, a feast making... Amazing. <laughs> wow. I remember you cooking in Oakland and it looks like a main. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, the food. Oh. 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 Wow. So we're gonna have you have some garlic in the marinade. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, there you go. <laughs> what? Want to try I, it? I don't want any of this, no. No. No, okay. the good. But there's also stuff out there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I 
And now we can share. Oh, yeah? This, this is the gluten free one, right? It's so gluten free we got this back. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Those are good, but right? that looks. Mm hmm. That's good. Oh. Mmm. Mm. I gave everybody a spoon mm. so that they can eat the rice correctly. Because <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. she didn't bleach it. Mm. Which I didn't bleach it, but just the lightning is much more intense. You can feel it. Really. You know, I was thinking of doing that with my hair. I said purple streaks and you know, cornrows. Orange me on orange shit. Uh, I mean, do come it. On. I can only live once. Once I have such a full hair, you know, I you could do. just do that for days. You do. No. no. I could you could dye hair, your hair any color. My hair, you white. don't want to breathe on it because you could pull some out accidentally. So. <laughs> mm. No, actually. Hey, did you see them? Yeah, I'm about to get in there. I didn't want to insult anyone by eating those first. Um, I have way more hair than any guy in my family. And one of my theories, actually, is that, uh, and keep in mind, this is more, so they're all basically bald, and they all got bald at a pretty early age. And what it is, is... Um, His dad was bald at 25. I wonder if it's because I got into hair conditioner around the end of high school, my hair started to get long and I couldn't get it comb through it. My girl told me about conditioner. So I actually put that on and massage it into my hair pretty much every day. You know, that really helps. A lot. Yeah. And I, it. I think all of that. I got this new sweetener, it's a monk fruit sweetener, but it's weird because it's not monk fruit. There's erythritol in it. Uh, I went to Sprouts and I was going to get stevia, but the stevia that they had there was stevia and erythritol. And same with the monk fruit, And but this one was on sale so I thought, eh, might as well try the monk fruit. Anyways, I'm just sitting here responding to some comments and I want to read one. My wonderful subscriber Sarah says, Whoa, just scrolled a bit out of curiosity and some of the comments are dot dot something, lol. Anyway, thank you so much Star for the awesome and entertaining content you've been putting out lately. I'm loving this vlog format. I feel like it creates a space for your awesome energy and personality to shine bright. Much love from Italy. And I just really appreciate this comment. I really feel grateful for it. And I'm really, really enjoying this kind of vlog format. And so I'm just really grateful to you guys who are enjoying this type of content because I'm really enjoying making it. I need a spoon. Oh my god. Whenever I look in the mirror, I honestly do not even recognize myself. I feel like I look so much better with light hair, um, but I'm hoping I just get used to it. I feel like it's time to go back to dark for the sake of my hairs and my scalp, so it's happened. I'm mourning. Um, so I'm dark now. What do you guys think? Are you into it? I know some people are really into it because um, they've commented, you should go dark, I miss your dark hair, you look so much better dark, but it honestly, it doesn't matter like what other people say about, you know what I mean? Like if you think something looks better on you, that's what matters, right? Uh, but anyways, I'm just hoping it grows on me. But I wanna just tell you a little bit about last night and the event. Um, because it's probably foreign to a lot of people. My mom didn't know what it was. She had to research it and was like, whoa. Uh, but it was like a gathering of, I guess, like-minded people kind of in that community. And I guess in the kink 
community in general and I talked to a lot of people a lot of people were kind of there for the first time or their second time or just getting into it and exploring um, I did talk to some people who have been in that sort of world for many many years I talked to all sorts of different people that night and it was just it it was an interesting thing and they did a little workshop where they showed people how to do you might have seen a clip if I put it in there how to do a rope harness and so uh, my friend did that on me and I could see it like it was it felt sensual it was slow and I could see how if you're being tied up by someone who really knows what they're doing and it's like slow and sensual and they're tying you and going around I can see how it's just like a very cool interesting thing but because of the nature of that place it was like I was talking to all sorts of people that live kind of alternative lifestyles um, you know like polyamorous and uh, dominant submissive like all these alternative lifestyles and I find it fascinating and I want to tell you my most favorite part about being there and just connecting with people there is it just felt so non-judgmental like anyone could say anything about themselves or what they're into and as long as they're not harming anyone it's like no one is there to judge them or make them feel bad about their inclinations or what they're into it was more just an open space for people today to be like it was actually clothing optional <laughs> and um i obviously couldn't film any of the like actual event but i was able to film just the room and the space before people got there like it was there was a lot of people there and so they had various workshops they also had like snacks and refreshments downstairs which I didn't show you that area but that's where we had the tying lesson but then in the other room that's like really cool it was like more advanced stuff so you could see people getting suspended getting tied up and suspended and just like advanced shibari um, it was special it was a special thing you know i imagine a lot of people live their lives without going to something like that and seeing that and i really enjoyed being there and just talking to people who are interested in all different things um so i definitely enjoyed and i also served tea a little bit <laughs> And it was a feat. It was amazing. I was able to get that whole tea set up in my little bug. Definitely, if I didn't have the seats removed, that would be, like, impossible. So, anyways, I'm going to finish. I'm actually editing and uploading a video right now. And I'm going to finish responding to my comments and drinking my tea. And I think I'm going to end this video here. So, thanks, guys. Thanks again. Thanks to everyone who's enjoying the videos and watching the videos. I love y'all and I'll see you next time. One more thing just about my hair. <laughs> my hair. Oh, and my nail. I freaking broke a nail helping carry all the tea stuff. And this nail is about I'm not I'm not flipping you off, don't worry. This nail is cracked. Like I was saying, if you watch the other video as well as this one, like it's only a matter of time before these two come off, and then it will take so long to grow back. And I'm considering getting fake nails. What do you think? Is that a bad idea? It ruins your nails, but then I could get like the long pointy ones. Please let me know your thoughts on that. And then, so the reason I dyed it again so soon, because I'm a crazy pants, my mom saw, how much are you dyeing your hair? I'm worried about it. I'm like, yeah, that's a valid concern. Um, but like I was saying when I was in the car about my hair, like I just don't want it red I just didn't want it red so I wanted it to be which it you still do see the red um, if I'm in the light it definitely still picks up but it's more much more dark so that's why I wanted it to be not red